So you might be chilling at home thinking you have another four days until the Olympics start. But guess what? Team Canada's playing in two days. Ah! So I guess I should have posted a video earlier, but here I am telling you guys about when the games are happening, who they're playing, and how each opponent looks compared to Team Canada. Oh, and also where you can find it because I swear every time we go to watch a game, it's on a different platform. So let's begin. Canada has one hectic week in the Olympics. Their first game is against the host in Japan, which means it's not gonna be easy. Japan is an up and coming team. They are ranked number 10 in the world, which is quite generous considering I think they've had a bit of a resurgence. Obviously they were dominant back in 2010, 2011, and now they're getting back on that groove. Their youth teams are killing it. Their women's team actually got knocked out in the 2019 World Cup in the, I believe it was the round of 16 to the Netherlands. But as we all know, Netherlands went on to lose in the finals and they looked pretty scary that whole time. So respect to Japan and that's definitely gonna be a big matchup. And then I don't know, I guess there's no fans, but I feel like you'll still have that home field advantage being the host city. So that's pretty cool. So that game is going to be on Wednesday, June 21st at 6.30 a.m. Eastern time. I believe it's like uh, 7.30 p.m. local time for them. But for us, that means we're gonna have to get up really early and be loud and proud because we know that Japan is gonna be supporting their players like crazy. So I expect all of you to be setting your alarms, except for maybe if you're on uh, Pacific time because 3.30 a.m. Is, is a little cruel, I'm not gonna lie. Um, and for us Eastern people, uh, we're gonna have to do the same thing in the third or in the second game. Because the second game is at 3.30 a.m. Eastern time. So it's gonna be Canada versus Chile. And Chile is someone you don't wanna count out. They're ranked number 37 in the world, which means they're ranked just slightly lower than Argentina who is 35 and Wales who's 34. And both of these teams have given Canada trouble this year. Uh, when Canada was struggling to find their offensive groove. Canada did have an exhibition game against the Netherlands, apparently, before. We couldn't really see it was a closed match uh, a couple days ago, and they tied 3-3, so I'm like, okay, we found some goals. Like, I don't care about the letting three goals in too much because I think they were playing around the lineup, but uh, if we can find that offensive groove against Chile, like, we should glide past smoothly, but uh, they have arguably the best goaltender in the world in Endler, um, and they are a strong defensive team, so... Do not count them out. That is not an easy game. But this is definitely the game where I would see Bev starting uh, some of the players who don't get as many minutes. Like I see Julia Grosso getting in there for her offensive abilities, maybe Adriana Leon getting some minutes compared to the Japan game where we're definitely gonna see our starting 11 who Bev wants to have in the tournament. So excited to see that rotation. Um, and then we'll see you in our third game. I think that'll be a bit of mix and match against Great Britain. So, this game is going to be at 7 a.m. Oh, sleep in. How wonderful. And it's going to be uh, a tough one. Great Britain is basically England, plus I think three players, Caroline Weir and uh, Kim Little from Scotland, and then Sophie Ingalls from Wales. Um, man, Josh Fishlaw kind of got right there. I would have taken Josh, Jess from Wales as well. And you could argue Kim Little, but she hasn't been playing as much as here. But anyways, basically Great Britain is England, uh, who's ranked number six in the world. So Canada played them earlier in the year and won two nothing. Uh, but that was largely thanks to the Canadian grit and then two sloppy defensive plays by England. Um, or Great Britain, basically the same thing. Um, <laughs> and so we'll see how they fare, but I think it should be a good game. Canada shouldn't let their guard down. I mean, uh, England was missing a couple of their best players in. Lucy Bronze was unfit. Uh, I think Debbie Stokes was injured at the time, just playing half a game. So they had a couple injuries, especially along the back line with Steph Houghton out. And then we were missing Kadisha, but I mean, it's kind of different when you have like potentially three starters in your back line missing versus one. Um, so I'm excited to see how that game goes. All three of these games should be very interesting. Like I said, probably most of our starters in the first game, if not all. And I would see probably all of our starters in the third game, uh, maybe resting a couple legs that are feeling a little gassed or depending on yellow cards and such. And then that second game, that's where I'd see those offensive players like Julia Grosso getting in there, getting some minutes, taking um, 
some time off. Uh, and definitely I see the center backs rotating. Perhaps that's the game that Giles gets in with Zdorsky or uh, see the rotation there. It's definitely interesting because guys, three games in like a week, that's crazy. I can't even, ugh. I mean, I technically at the university level, we do that, but these girls are working way harder than we do, I think. Like, <laughs> those are gonna be some crazy, hot, intense games. So to recap the games, we're gonna have Wednesday, July 21st at 6.30 a.m. Eastern time. And then we're gonna have Saturday, July 24th versus Chile at 3.30 a.m. Eastern time. <sighs> Which means 12.30 for the specific. So I guess you guys are just gonna have a late, late night. And then the third game is going to be against Great Britain. And that one is at 7 a.m. on Tuesday, July 27th. So the 21st, the 24th, the 27th, 6.30 a.m., 3.30 a.m., 7 a.m. Mark them down. And where are you going to find them? You're going to be watching them either on CBC, um, as CBC airs basically everything Olympics, or if you're in America, you have several options at NBCSN. Uh, I think they have Olympic Channel and the USA Network. So make sure you're supporting loud and proud. Get yourself a nice denim jacket, perhaps, to match the players. And maybe we'll see one of our own as a uh, flag bearer at the beginning of the end. And hopefully we medal. And I definitely will post a video after a couple of the games, maybe even the first one, and kind of analyze what's going on, how our team's looking, and what are our chances at meddling. Because right now, not too bad. I would say we have pretty strong core veteran uh, group of the mid to high 20s. Like these players, a lot of them have 100 caps or so. So Canada should not be doubted. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are. Where do you think Canada will finish in the Olympics? Uh, which game are you looking forward to seeing the most? And I will also quickly drop the schedules for the quarters, semis, and finals so you can mark them down on your calendar and hopefully watch them with Canada in it. We shall see. So again, drop the comment, leave a like, subscribe, and talk to you guys further on in this tournament.